Almost everyone in America seems to agree that high gas prices are a huge problem. Democrats are pushing legislation to eliminate tax subsidies for the top five big oil companies. What would their plan do to help lower the high gas prices? This was never intended to talk about lowering prices. These subsidies, as they're called by Democrats, are really just standard tax deductions that businesses get. You know, this is not going to change the price of gasoline pump. Republicans in the Senate saying, look, this is a, amounts to a tax hike. You've got some Democrats from oil producing states who agree with them. This will not reduce gasoline prices. The bureaucrats in his administration are not listening. Taxing oil and gasoline just drive prices higher. I have a chart depicting what I expect this hearing to turn into. And there you go. Well, who's the horse and who's the dog? <laughs> I think we both know. You're not going to be able to reduce the price of oil at the pumps by further taxing the oil and gas industry. Higher gas prices, fewer American jobs, and more dependence on foreign competitors at the expense of American energy, that's their plan. Talking about taxing the oil companies and making them move more of our jobs overseas? Is that really the message we want to send? If we would have a national energy policy of using the plentiful oil resources that we have. Produce more of our own resources. The wisdom and common sense of the American people is all of the above as aggressively as possible. Many entrepreneurs say they're also losing customers because they have to raise their prices to make up for rising energy costs. Jim McNerney, chairman and CEO of Boeing, blasting the National Labor Relations Board. One unaccountable, unelected, unconfirmed acting general counsel can threaten thousands of jobs. They made the decision because South Carolina was a better business deal. They did not violate the law. When some members of the administration say they want good jobs for everyone, they mean only union jobs. I can't think of any single action the federal government could take that would make it harder to create new jobs. The Obama administration and Congress continue to hash out a deal on the deficit. We did talk about the need to put a cap on spending. We can't act like the, spend, the federal government does not have a spending problem. But cutting spending, not raising taxes, is the answer. One part of President Obama's plan I thought was very interesting. He's calling on all Americans to have more grandchildren. See, because the more of them there are, the easier it will be for them to pay off our $14 trillion debt. <laughs>